I'm Jack Randall. I'm here in Brazil to look for the largest snake in the world, the green anaconda. <laughs> These snakes live deep in the rainforest and not much is known about them. But when building on the Belo Monte Dam in Brazil unearthed a massive anaconda, I had to go investigate. I've assembled a team, Emil Hernandez, data collection scientist, and Nayara Sabrina, producer and research assistant. And we're going to head deep into the jungle. We've already found one baby, and where there's a baby, there must be a mummy around. So we've just arrived at our, our next, our last stop. For a week we're going to be staying with this tribe. We're looking for the anacondas. We're really deep in the jungle now. We're leaving the team. It's just now me, Mark and Nayara here with the tribe for the week to look for the anacondas. There's came in everywhere. I want to try and get a little bit closer. <laughs> that is beautiful. Pupil is perfect for night vision. You can hardly see them during the day. They're like this. And their eyes are just popping out the top of their head. The fact that we haven't been able to find Anaconda, this is a good find here. Uh, it keeps the excitement going. But what we're trying to do is find the Anacondas. There he goes. It's time to move the search into the jungle. Look at the size of this spider here. Good me. Okay, that's the first time I've ever held a tarantula. I'm a little bit scared of tarantulas. These are venomous. And the bottom of its, its feet, they're really sticky, really spongy. You can see how they can, they can stay on the, on the tree. But he wants to move, he just wants to keep moving. And actually it's getting me over my fear just doing this. I'm beginning to actually like this spider. No, I'm serious, this is nice. There he goes, up the tree. <laughs> <laughs> so many animals, but still no anacondas. <laughs> Apparently the red paint stops the mosquito bites. Oh dear. <laughs> he wants you to try it. <laughs> uh, okay. Chica, my papa. Ah, <laughs> not that far. <laughs> Someone has spotted something. Oh, oh yeah. Hey, we got it, got it. It's a colibri, it's a non venomous. <laughs> nice snake. <laughs> we need to take the snake away from here. Everybody's so scared of it, even though it's non venomous. <laughs> Everybody hates snakes. Tribes the other side, they want it as far away as possible. Emil. Bye bye, steak. Thanks, Emil. <laughs> We're trying to find anacondas in this area, and we realize that we need to get as many people helping us as possible. So we're using the radio to get in contact with the different fishermen that are up and down the river. One of the fishermen, they found a big anaconda. We're going to go there as quickly as possible to catch the snake, get the samples. But I'm so excited. I've been waiting for two weeks for an anaconda. <laughs> Normally a fisherman would kill the snake if it got caught in the net. But this time, it's a lucky ending for the snake. I managed him to... Get the fishing nets off him. Whoa, anaconda. Beauty. I can't believe we finally found one. What we're going to do, because this is another snake, our second snake on our expedition, we're going to get some samples from the snake. And then after that, we're going to go and release the snake in the wild, away from where all these fishing nets are. This is perfect bush for the snake. It's not too deep, slow moving water. Much more relaxed, not even trying to bite me in here, because he just knows that he's free. Oh, it's so good. I'm so pleased, a 2.5 meter anaconda. Look at it. Ah, oh, beautiful snake. Ah, oh, that's a beauty. 
wrapping around me a little bit, <laughs> which is a little bit worried. But oh, this is so good. I mean, it's something what I've always wanted to do is swim with the wild anaconda. Anaconda, woo! Beauty! We've had everybody in the Singer River looking for the snake. So good! <laughs> so good. The Orinoco crocodile is one of the most endangered crocodiles in the world. He's coming out. Whoa! <laughs> Be careful!